In this video, we will review what items are, how they are used, and methods for creating and importing shapes. Let's first review what an item is. Items can be placed from the steel or concrete tab from the item button, and they're inserted into the model using two points. The term item refers to the parts that have a 3D shape. Items are created either in external modeling software or inside of Tekla structures, and you can find them in the shape catalog. Shape refers to the unique name of a 3D shape of the item as defined in the shape catalog. Just as the cross section of a part is defined by the profile, the 3D geometry of an item is defined by its shape name. If you were to create the object in Tekla using beam, column, or slab parts, one object could have several parts and cuts, and this adds a lot of unnecessary information and objects to the model. Shapes allow you to have one Tekla object to represent all of those combined pieces. Items are represented in drawings and reports just like any other steel or concrete part. If you want to separate items from parts, use the is underscore item template attribute. When you create or import an item, there are two files created within the model folder. They are placed in the shapes and shape geometries folders. The file in the shapes folder specifies the shape name, extrema information, and the BREP geometry file, which is located in the shape geometries folder. These files must always be stored together. There are a couple different options of getting your items into Tekla. You can either import shapes or create them. Creating items for Formwork can take a significant amount of time, and utilizing existing files will speed the process up. So our first option then is to import 3D geometry from another software, which is done by importing through the shape catalog. And there are several different file types that are supported. Press the item button under the steel or concrete tab and click the shape catalog button in the properties pane. Then in the shape catalog, you can import a shape or multiple shape files at once. When you import an item from an external file, the item will be placed in the same relative location from the handles as it is in the external file. The yellow or start handle is the origin and the magenta or end handle is the X direction. There are two methods you can use to create items natively in Tekla. You can create shapes from part geometry or use an extension from the warehouse. Both are a little different, so we'll review each in detail. To convert a part to an item, select a single part, right click, and select one of the two options at the bottom of the right click menu. Prior to converting the part, give the part a proper name because this will be added to the shape name. When you use this method, the grid position is also added to the shape name and is generally not preferred. If there are several items that need converted, delete the grids and the prefix will only include two underscores. This cannot be done if you select multiple parts. For an item modeled with multiple parts, you first need to combine them by adding the material together. Select the main part and the parts to be added. Now when you select the part and right click, you have the option to convert the part to an item. When you use this method, the part or main parts position needs to be considered. If the rotation is set to top, the location of the part relative to the handles determines its location once you place that item. If I change the on-plane position for the beam to be 5 feet, the item will be offset 5 feet whenever I place this item, which can be quite annoying to deal with when placing. For this panel frame, I've modeled it a certain way so it has a specific orientation starting at the bottom left of the panel and the direction is along the length of the panel. I'll then make all of my panel items using this same type of coordinate system. The second method is using an extension available on the Tekla warehouse called Create Item from TS Object. Once you install this, it will be available in your Applications and Components catalog. Double click on the extension to launch the dialog and type in the name of the shape.
The item's position will be relative to the current work plane, so that must be adjusted first. Then you can press Create. For later versions beyond 2020, you may notice some issues with the faces once you use this method. You can use the shape cleaner after creating all the shapes to fix this issue. After reopening the model, the face issue should be fixed. This method might be a little slower and repetitive if you have to convert multiple objects since you have to set the work plane each time, but it gives you complete flexibility for the origin point of the item and its direction as well as giving you full control over what the name of the item is. Here's some other tips to consider when creating items. The position is very important when creating items and keeps the items consistent for different groups of items like panels, braces, or other groups of formwork objects. This will make it easy to update objects or change a component to use a different size. For these panels, they all start at the same corner and go in the same longitudinal direction of the panel. The inside corners have a start point at the corner where the wall panels connect and go along one face. The brace parts start at the connection point at either end and go in the longitudinal direction of the part. Note that for these braces, there are multiple parts that need to be created since they need to move and can vary in length. If you only have this product as one single item, the ends won't be able to move. It can only be one fixed length. For other items, it's up to you on how you want to define the coordinate system. You can use a connecting point as the origin um, and direction that makes it easy to place. Here's a few examples of how some of these custom items were created. Most of these are all going to use steel beams or steel plates along with part cuts. For the panel, it used beams around the perimeter, uh, beams for the horizontal members, and beams for these handle attachments, as well as part cuts for the openings um, or any other extra detail. Um, if I show the cuts here or display detailing, you can see some simple part cuts were added for those holes and the openings on the side. For a more complex shape like this clamp, um, you can use a combination of different types of parts. There's two steel plates on the side that were modeled as well as this interior um, clamp piece. And if I show the detailing for those as well, you can see there's just a bunch of funky part cuts there to achieve that geometry. For the more round shapes, um, you can use two profiles. They, they work out really well. Um, so for this bracing member here, you can see there was a couple different beam parts and different types of cuts added um, for the openings or slots. That concludes the concept for this presentation. Just to review what we went through, we went over methods of creating items for formwork. Um, there's two different methods that you can use. So you can import existing geometry if those have been created in external software. Or if you're creating the geometry inside of Tecla, there's a couple options that you can use to create. So you'll have to evaluate both methods and see which you prefer. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.